Hi and welcome to part 6 I think it is of this uh, Rockola Regis amplifier repair restoration. Right so the amplifier is basically complete now, I've double checked all the connections so it's upside down on the bench now, we've got the power supply set up, we've got the Variax uh, set up, we've got my digital multimeter set up. Okay so the way I go about first powering one of these up and this is just my way, you might want to do it your own way, um, is to slowly apply some voltage um, and check the HT. Now if you've got an amplifier with a valve rectification then obviously you can have to crank at least 50 volts into it, something like that, um, for the rectifier to start operating um, and giving you your B plus. But on obviously on this amplifier it's silicon diodes so you get HT voltage immediately you put any power into the amplifier. So what I intend to do is I give it a bit of voltage, perhaps 25 volts, something like that, just over and then we have a look at the HT rail and see what we got. We've got 120 volts on the HT rail, so that looks fine. So what you want to do then, turn the Variac down, just keep an eye on the meter. What it should do is what it's doing now is gradually work its way back eventually to zero if you wait long enough. What it shouldn't do is immediately drop off. If it immediately drops off, it shows that you've got a miswire or something wrong with the wiring, We've got something wrong that's dragging that HT down and you wouldn't want to leave that powered up in that state for any long because it'll take your rectifier out or even your winding on your transformer. You want to watch that it goes slowly down on its own back to zero. What I do then is I power it back up, perhaps some low, low voltage so you know it's not too dodgy to work on. Just keep it on about, I don't know, something like that, 100 volts around and then go through the amplifier and check that you've got HT everywhere you should have it, namely the plates of all the uh, valves right back through the amplifier. Just check that it voltage is everywhere it should be. Obviously the voltage won't be correct because uh, we're not applying full voltage and we obviously got no valves in so there'll be no load on the HT. Um, so you don't want to crank your voltage right up because with no load on it the HT level could go past the rating of the uh, smoothing caps and then you could be in trouble. So just keep an eye on that when you uh, put the HT in with no valves in. Um, also, possibly if your transformers, I wouldn't like to do it on older output transformers either, exceed the voltage that the amplifier is rated at. You could get flash over in your amplifier primary winding and that'd be the end of your output transformer. So just be a bit careful cranking the power up when there's no valves in it. Um, and then the next thing I'm going to do now, uh, once I've gone through and checked all the plates, is the next one to check is the bias supply, which is critical to have obviously present, otherwise your output valves will burn up and so will your new output transformers. So that's what I'm going to do now and I'll get back to you as soon as I've done it. Hi, i have turned the amplifier back over now and now we're about to connect some speakers to it and again slowly bring the power up with the uh, output tubes in. One thing I forgot to mention before, measure the resistance across each output and you should get a very low impedance, or uh, low resistance reading, sorry. Um, I got 2.7 ohms there and I got the same on the other channel. Most important that you check that, um, especially if it's through any speaker switching networks because that shows that you've got out connection here to the output tappings of the output transformer. What you don't want to do is power the amp up, think you've got connection to this and you haven't. So if you do that and you put any signal through the amplifier at all, um, especially at higher volumes, you could risk damaging your output transformer. So always make sure and you've got a good low reading here, a couple of ohms usually, that shows that your output transformer is connected properly to your output jacks or output terminals on your amplifier. I'm only checking the stereo ones here at the moment because that's all I'm going to be connecting to for the time being um, until I got the amp um, further along up and tested um, and working properly on these then I'll connect the mono um, output and check that. Okay, I forgot to mention this, sorry about that. Um, so that's it, the next time you see the amp it will have the output valves in, speakers connected um, and full voltage applied. Right, we've now got the amplifier up the right way. Um, I made some voltage checks. I've got the line voltage now at correct rating to give the bias voltage correctly on the output valves. 
that's where we're measuring it at the moment obviously no point measuring ht because it's not loaded down by all the rest of the valves so i've got minus 25 volts on the grids of the output valves now they lit up they're red hot as you, well, you can't tell but that's a good way to tell if you're drawing current your valves you won't be able to touch them they'll be absolutely red hot but they should have no sign of any red glow inside the output valves whatsoever and they have a little faint blue but definitely no red so the best thing to do is get your workshop lights turned off just for 30 seconds after it's been running a minute or so just to make sure there's no red glows no red glows no hum or anything from the loudspeakers amp should be completely silent okay so there we go that's the first stage done uh, next one to put in is the uh, phase splitter valve and then we can check the voltages around that valve um, and go back from there hi back on the underside of the amp now so right i've checked the ht i've checked the uh, bias voltage on the output valves as we said there's no minus 25 so that's all fine valves are glowing nicely i've put the 12 au7 phase splitter valve in and i've checked the uh, plate and cathode voltages on there they're all reading a bit high at the moment obviously because not all the valves are in the amplifier but that's nothing to worry about it's a little bit over to what it should be but that don't really matter at this stage so then i've moved back into the 12AX7, which is a voltage amplifier valve, is the one that came comes off the um, sort of amplifier stage of the volume control after the tone circuits. Um, you can see here is a little coax cable, uh, screen cable that, that feeds into the valve from the from the tone circuitry. Now I've um, measured the plate voltage there, and I've measured the cathode voltage on both. Uh, sides of the valve because obviously it's a twin valve a 12 ax7 um, it should be 1.5 on the cathode uh, i'm getting 1.6 well 1.68 but again that's nothing to worry about because the voltages are all elevated in the amplifier uh, because not all the valves are in so that's quite normal and now you should get a little bit of sound out of the speakers if i touch the um i've got an insulated probe there off my meter if I touch it on one channel, got a bit of sound out of one channel, touch it on the other, a bit of sound out the other side as well. So we know that the amplifier is working from that stage onwards through the output stages and through to the speakers. Um, how well it's working we don't know yet, but at least we've got sound uh, coming through the amplifier. Um, so I'm going to go back now, plug the volume control in, um, which is over there and recapped which you must do and then i'll work my way back to the next valve back in the chain and we'll carry out the same tests again okay thanks for watching the 6cy7s are new old stock that i put in but a surprising the difference and i've tried swipe, swapping the valves round um to see if it if it is something in the amplifier or a valve itself i mean it won't make no difference to the performance of the amplifier you can adjust the balance uh there's any slight uh, volume differences between the two but the cathode resistor there of the first stage uh, for the 6 cy 7 I got 1.32 volts on that side and on the other side other, other valve the same components around it I've got 1.23 so there's a bit of difference there not a lot I mean it, it should be 1.3 volts but that side that valve is slightly down on the other one both you know there's the boxes there two 60 y sevens but slightly different um i've also got the um the first valve in now which is the 12 au7 the input valve um the amplifier is on full volume at the moment um obviously it's completely silent because there's no uh, input no hum no nothing coming from it um, and just to prove that i'll find the screwdriver and just touch it on the inputs there That's one side, that's the other channel. Um, next stage now is to uh, put a signal generator on the input at its, res at its recommended uh, voltage, which on this amp, I forget, uh, I can't remember, well, oh, 1.18 um, or 180 millivolts uh, for maximum output. So we'll put that on, and then what we've got to do then is just the input level controls on the schematic if you look there 
input level controls there and on top of the amp there's a test socket and you alter those um, controls there which is the new ones I put in to give you a specified reading at that test socket.